everybody, it is Punch Queen again. Today, my Celeste is going to learn a new spell. Now, let me get out of my house because I don't want to fall asleep again. I was just sleeping in my comfy mattress when this weird looking pony thing, let me just go ahead and show you with wings like a pegasus, attacked me and said she was so bored. She wanted to learn a new spell. So today, I'm going to put her on my pet team and, and I'm going to take her out for a long adventure so she would stop jumping on my bed. And then I can also have a good time. So apparently now I'm in Lamplight Town. Let's go to a place where you can find good pets. Ser seriously, the best way to evolve your pets and learn new spells is to head over to your world map and go to where your titan is. Usually, the titan is in Shipwreck Shore, but it has fallen. I made a video about it, so you better go and try to check that out. Okay, so now let's go to the place. I think it's Skywatch, so I'm just going to head over there. Because the, because the titan will be too powerful for it. I'm going to go ahead and go over to this thingy slider. And so if we battle that meek, I don't want to do that. Let's head over into the shack. And so we found two good pets. Or we could go into here. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. This guy actually has a wizard in it. Okay, oh my gosh. Let's see, let's see. I'll be right back from the battle. Okay, everybody. Well, this thingy's still there. I have no idea. I just finished battling that pet, actually. But it's still there. And so that didn't really work out that well. So I'm just going to head over here. Okay, we'll just enter the factory again by accident. We can just head a bit low, head over into this tiny clock, and we can head over to the slider. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle whatever pet's over here. A hub, maybe? I'm not really sure. Okay. So we have two pets, and our Celeste is right over here. And now she is can't climb on me right now, or else she will get zapped by my powerful supernova. So I can prevent her from scratching me. Let's just go ahead and solve this question. Okay. So now we could use the supernova. And my Celeste is the same color as it, so it would completely blend in. And we would never find her ever, ever. That's a, such a sad story. But I'm not going to talk about that. Okay, so he missed me. I don't know why storm pets are always missing. Okay. So we're going to use Falling Star Smash, and we're going to... Oh, I thought I was going to defeat that hob. It only has 236 health. A Winter's Breath would be helpful right now, or a Supernova, and just got a critical hit. Yep, we don't have a Supernova, but we do have a Torrent or Falling Star Smash. I'd rather use Falling Star Smash than Torrent. Okay, I just finished finishing that question. Falling Star Smash, and this Hobbs dead. Sorry, my voice was a, a little rigid there. My mic just moved a bit. Okay, now we'll probably be able to defeat the Hob, or maybe not. Seriously? 271 health? Okay, I hope it doesn't do another critical hit. Okay, great. It did it. And now the pony is starting to whinny again. Help me, help me. The pony's going to attack me again. Okay, it, it didn't. Phew. Okay. So, yay. 
I defeated that hob. Let's see if my Celeste got a new spell. Okay, yeah. Lucky for me, I'm a member, and I'll get member stars. It's really close, as you can see. Okay, it did. Is evolving. Stop evolving. I don't want to evolve it. So that's what I'm saying. It's evolving. And again, 112 hearts. I'm so lucky. I'm going to open that member chest. And it looks like we just got a new outfit. Nah, I don't want to wear that. Now I can head down here and then go over here. Let's see if it's capacity technique. Okay, let's head over here. Now, we found two more Neeks. Let's go ahead and battle them. Wow, this this one has three in them. I'm going to use, I mean, sorry, Falling Star Smash, because then what I could do is I can, um, what I could do is I could get rid of all of them at once. So, yeah, I got half of that Cloud Neek. Miss. Okay, this, see what I mean? These cloud animals are always missing. Okay. Okay, so now is the chance to use Supernova. The, the benefit is that I can attack the Cloud Meek, and I can also attack the Cloaker and the Hob. So now is the chance that actually I don't want to. I don't actually want to. Okay, now my Celeste is so happy she's leaping. Okay, now she's leaping. Imagine her jumping all the way onto my head. Unlimited power. No, not unlimited power. Okay, yeah, he missed, so I'm pretty happy. Now let's use another Falling Star Smash because I don't want to use the all-out attack. Now that okay, so my Cloaker got a spell power bonus on himself. And he's using Iron Cannon now. And he almost killed me over there. Okay, Falling Star Smash. Okay, Falling Star Smash. We, de we defeated that Cloaker with a 400... 4,234 damage with a spell power bonus, and this hob almost nearly killed me. Okay, so I hope this hob misses me. Like I'm saying, hobs miss a lot. So if this one misses me, it's a miracle. And yeah, it didn't miss me. So I'm going to switch to my nearest pet, a Chromie. So I'm going to use Iron Cannon. Okay, so now we're using Iron Cannon, and, and I'm really high. I have high hopes that I'm gonna beat this hob, and no, I didn't. That's 654 health left. And he's using Iron Cannon now, Storm against Storm. But luckily, my Akromi's on level 90. If you want to catch an Akromi, an amazing Akromi, well, mine's on level 90, just go over here and catch a Brawl. And let's finish off this battle. Okay, I got the question right. Now I can use Iron Cannon, and we defeated that hob. And then it ran away, you won. So I got 32 battle stars, wow. That's a lot. Well, for my solo state it is. So I got 15 member stars. Let's open our chest. Okay, so as I'm saying, that Brawl from my Acromi over here, and so it's Morph Marble Brawl. This is what the Brawl looks like. Let's go back on the slider, because over here is a dead end. Okay, yay. You're just in time, we could head back. Let's just go to the world map over here and head back into Skywatch. That means we don't have to go all the way back. Now, let's head over up here. So, we see that we can defeat this Cloud Neek over here and Squawks. And we also have a bounty. Now, about this bounty, let's take a quick break 
from our solicitor state, and let's talk about bounties. Now, what is a bounty? I've made a video on that, but um, this bounty right here is called Louis Post. So if we click on this trophy over here and click on bounties, I accepted this bounty. Lupios has finally come out of hiding. Find Trans Skywatch at in the gardener's hut exterior. So right now I'm over there and we could just go ahead and defeat this bounty if you have one there. I'll defeat the cloud me first. Back to the solo state. Okay, so we still have our all out attack. I totally forgot about that. But let's use it on our bounty. Okay. We'll be done with this sneak in no time. Maybe two more shots, I'm guessing. Okay, there's no spell power bonus against this, so I'll have to do two more shots. I'm pretty so sure. So I just solved that question that was over there. Now we could attack the cloud meek, and as I was saying, it was just two shots, so 668 health left. It's not a very lot, though, compared to the other ones. What's the value of these coins? 10 cents. Okay, so we got we did pretty much a lot of damage, and now a Celeste is probably gonna unlock a new spell. I'm hoping to unlock Down Parental. Okay, no, not this one. We're, we're probably have to gonna have to battle that bounty over there. Nope. We open our chest, and we go another Morph Marble Brawl. Now, if you want to get our bounty, we just want to head. Okay, so we just got her. And she is on level 75. Not bad. We could rescue her, but I really want to show you the way how she attacks. Let me just solve this question and take this badge from the screen. Okay, so I'm going to attack Lupios. Or Louis Post, whatever you call her. And see how she just like opened her jaw like that and just like shot at a stream of something? That's like really weird how she attacks, isn't it? Okay, so I got a spell power bonus this time and. Yeah, see this, that funny face again. Spell power bonus. Spell power bonus to spell power bonus. Items. Okay, I'm not going to need any of those. What's the value of these coins? 15, 25, 27. Okay, so Louis Post is dead. You won. Now our Celeste is probably going to, yep, it's going to unlock a new spell. Stop evolving. I don't want to evolve this guy. And then, so you gain one health hearts. So Splashdown evolved into a down parental. So it just learned a new spell. And then Celeste also unlocked the Snowling Ball spell. Let's go ahead and check them out. So let's unlock it, our chest. So let's go ahead and check out our new spell on this squawks. So we got one of those same thingies over there. Now let's switch. We were using down parental though, this time. Yep, got a bunch on me, powerful. And so we got the Snowling Boss spell. Now this along's at level 38. Okay, so let's use our Down Parental spell. All right, it's correct. Money, I leveled up on money, or I got the skill correct. Okay, so we hardly made a dent. Wow, it just defeated me. See, there used to be an escape button over here, but then Prodigy changed it. So the other way to escape now is to go over to your bar over here. Or just click this refresh button.
let me just get set up over here. So now we are back. So we just tried our new spell and that was so amazing. How we just unlocked two spells at one time and my pet was just evolving. I just didn't want to. Okay everybody. That's today's video. I am very satisfied that my Celestate will now stop jumping on me and let me sleep peacefully. Let's go to my house. I've had a long day full of adventures in Prodigy. Oh, wait, one thing I forgot to tell you. Enjoy the world of Prodigy while I'm gone. I'll be back soon, don't worry. Okay, now, let me go back to sleeping. Bye.